We are Shane and Anne, and this is our van, Fergus. This is the start of our Spanish road trip. We were very lucky to be given this private plot of land to settle down for the night. We explored all Isla had to offer, from rugged coastline to incredible viewing points to a spectacular underwater world. We've just left Isla and we've made our way to Ajo, where we're going to be spending the night. Tomorrow we're going to go and check the lighthouse and right now we're going to check a cave that is right there. The sky was glowing with color. It was a beautiful way to end the night in Ajo. So what do you think of the sunset? One of the nicest ever. One of the best things about Europe is the pastries in the shop in the morning is incredible. After putting the shopping away, we made our way to Faro de Ajo, which was turned into a Technicolor work of art in 2020. It's the first lighthouse in Spain to be turned into art. After leaving Ajo, we had an hour's drive to the stone in Liengris. We were lucky enough to get one of the best park ups along the cliff's edge. The worst thing about this spot is the door. This road is so dusty that Fergus has got destroyed. The next morning, the sun filled the van as it rose above the cliffs. What a beautiful way to spend the morning with some friends. If you are following us on our Instagram page, you would have seen that we have brand new Shane and Hanani van life stickers out. So if anybody wants one of them, drop it down in the comments and we might be making more of them to give out to you guys. We are off to do some van life duties. This is not the nice side of van life. Que asco, chaval. By the way, we are about to be a thousand people in the channel. We are so excited. We didn't think it was gonna happen so soon. We are at, oh my God. Did you get it? Literally there now, literally. <laughs> oh my God, we're a thousand already. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Literally refreshed. I was gonna show the 999 and then it was a thousand. Slow down for the drop clay. Our next stop was a quick visit to Santa Justa. On the climb down to the Ermita, we couldn't get over the blue waters that crashed against the church. Who knew the north of Spain was this beautiful? We've made it to La Ermita de Santa Justa, which is like a wee church from the 15th century, no, 16th century, it's from the 1500s. And it's very, very cool because it's against this mountain, so it only has two walls. And it is crazy that it has made it to these days because it's by the sea, and the sea here in winter is very, very rough. And still standing. So right beside this little church there's a tiny stream of water here that comes from the mountains and it is very very cold and it's lovely. So we are leaving Santa Justa now and we are gonna make our way to Playa de Guerra which is right beside Ollambre. I think it's only how long? 35 minutes? So 35 minutes right from here so it's not too bad. We're going to a car park that is a tenor to get in and it has showers, toilets, bins, it's by a, um, a beach, so it seems ideal. The good thing about a hill are its views. The bad thing about the hills is the hill. <laughs> Oh. 
we arrived to Peñantera, where we enjoy the views and its amazing beach called Playa de Gerra. If you are around this part of Cantabria, we highly recommend coming here. Look at this place. We're going to make some fajitas tonight in Fergus and it's just turning on the gas. We have the roof popped up, hopefully no mosquitoes. Let's get cooking. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Mm. So we're having fajitas tonight in Fergus while we're just chilling here at this campsite. Good morning, so we've just got up in Peñantera and I've just looked outside and oh my god the views yesterday when we were here it was cloudy but today there's clear skies and oh my god so We were going for our walk just along the beach and then Annie came up with this idea and we'll walk to the next town which is the other side of the beach so we had to come back, get our stuff and now we're many kilometers away I don't know if you can see it. It's way over there. <laughs> We're not gonna make a change. At the end, our crazy plan didn't turn out bad. We made it to San Vicente de Navarquera and now we're back. And while she is cooking, I'm just sitting here and I'm looking at the walk that we've done and it is a bit crazy. Dinner is served. It looks delicious. San Vicente de la Barquera is a charming marine town on Cantabria's coast with a beautiful old town, amazing beaches and a breathtaking view of Picos Europa. So that's it guys, that finishes up our first week of van life here in Spain and we've crossed the whole coast of Cantabria and today we arrived in Asturias so our first week is officially over and we're excited now to start exploring Asturias and one note we did hit over a thousand subscribers on the channel so thanks very much for that there it means a lot to the both of us so we can't wait to keep on growing and providing more videos for you guys so stay tuned for the next video we're going to be exploring Asturias and until then thanks for watching and we'll see you then bye bye